Hey crypto fans, welcome back here with more news on the Bitcoin and today we're looking into bigger updates that we have for today. It's a lot of interesting information that I found for y'all so I'll appreciate if you will not forget to subscribe, like and share because I'm trying my best to update you with more stuff on the Bitcoin. So let's start. Planec filed its sixth uh, amendment to its spot Bitcoin ETF with SSEC. And here we could see, as it filed with Securities and Exchange Commission on December, United States Securities and Exchange Commission Amendment Number 6, Registration Statement under the Security Act of 1933, Planec Bitcoin Trust, exact name of registration as specified in its chapter, so we could see this document over here on the screenshot. I think the internet is going to be one of the major forces for reducing the role of government. The one thing that's missing but that will soon be developed is a reliable e-cash. Milton Friedman in 1990, we did it, Milton, Bitcoin is here. If you want to retire early, learn about Bitcoin. If you want to financial freedom, learn about Bitcoin. If you don't trust your government, learn about Bitcoin. And if you've been screwed by the financial system, you should learn about the Bitcoin. And uh, in the last 10 days, Bitwise, Hashdex, and now OneEck have entered the Bitcoin advertising arena. 2024 is going to be wild. The Bitcoin Weekly Every Size shows us we are not in a route for new autumn highs and have planted firmly in a bull market local high zone. This again supports my claim that I believe Bitcoin has found a local high at 45k. The bull support zone now acts as a magnet for weekly RSI, so if I say Bitcoin has found a local high, why am I holding onto my coins? You must take on several risks including taxes, timing the buy-in, risk of additional upside, and a low risk reward compared to the cycle top. This is not worth to uh, this, this is not worth it to me with my excellent buy in price of 16.5 thousand for the cycle pin twit, and I buy and sell on much longer term time frames which take years cycle bottom and tops. A local high here could bring better buying prices for those who need it. While everyone awaits a rise from an ETF approval, the local high may have come right under their nose. Fear the greed never changes. While everyone is hyped, you probably need to sell. And when the fear appears, you need to buy. Are you ready for Bitcoin to take over Hong Kong? And we could see this trolley bus in Hong Kong city. Yeah, it's AI generated, but yeah, it looks sick, I would say, even if it's AI generated. Slightly concerned about the decline in hash rate and Bitcoin miner balance, which is dropping quite extens uh, extensively. The mining pools uh, that are reducing the balance are Mara pool and F2 pool and pooling by about 13k Bitcoin in the past few weeks. This doesn't mean they have sold, in fact, the barely any Bitcoin has been sent to exchanges, so it's most likely water low wallet reshuffling, but we are seeing a notable drop off in harsh rate, roughly 10% already in the past 5 days. If we get an ETF denial or bad news, and the hash rate continues to drop, with a serious amount of leverage below these price levels, a potential minor capitalization cascade is on the cards. Maybe short will pile in, and then we get the meaningful correction bottom. Also, last cycle I bought all my Bitcoin below 10k, then I sold it at a 54k in April 2021. Now I'm all in from the 16.5k in November 2022, and my only mission is to help you succeed. The best way is uh, to just like watch the news later as well, most likely, because news are telling you where you should buy and where you should sell. It's all the information we got in the Bitcoin right now, and if you are interested in more, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one, and peace.